Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of finding volume. This is standard 5.6b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 33 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Hollis, and Hollis is putting a layer of boxes on the bottom of a container. So that's going to be important for us. Each box has a volume of one cubic foot. So we've got these, these are all these little boxes, and they need to be cubes because that's going to help us with volume. So the base layer of boxes in the container is shown. So this is your base layer. And so what this means is that we're going to, have a container that just kind of goes up like this. If we were to kind of continue and and we're wanting to kind of just see how many boxes we can stick in here. So Hollis needs eight of these layers to completely fill the container. So what is the volume? All right. So volume starting in fifth grade and above does not simply mean how loud your headphones are or how loud the TV is. Volume is looking at the amount of space inside of a three-dimensional object. So in this case, we're looking here at a, they, they don't show it for us, but they describe a container that's really going to be a rectangular prism. So when we're looking at how much space is in a two-dimensional shape, like a rectangle or a square or a circle, that's area. And we measure that by looking at how many squares, imaginary squares, we can put inside there. When we're looking at three-dimensional objects like rectangular prisms, cubes, cylinders, that's volume. And instead of squares, we need a three-dimensional measurement. So we're going to look at cubes and we're going to say, all right, how many cubes can we use to fill up this space? And that's going to be a measurement for us. So how do we figure out volume? Well, volume, if you look on your mathematics chart, is going to have two different measurements. So you're going to see length times width times height. But you're also going to see that V equals BH. So these two are actually the same equation. So you notice that you've got an H on both. One's uppercase, one's lowercase. Doesn't make any difference. You can kind of write it either way. H is going to stand for your height. So we need to know uh, how tall or how high this container is. But then the difference here is this B is for the base. So the base is just kind of like what we see right here. The base is the area of the base layer. You're going to find the area of the base layer, and then you're going to multiply that by the height. Well, how do you find the area of the base layer, especially when we're looking at a rectangular prism? Guess what we do? We multiply the length times the width. So all this base is, is this just kind of short, shortcuts it and says, well, let's just assume you've already done the length times width. You found the area. Now we're going to multiply that by the height. So either way, you end up doing the same multiplication of three different measurements. So let's see what we have here. So let's look at our length, and we'll just use this measurement as our length. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got six boxes. And then across our width, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's a six by six. And then we need to multiply that by our height. And so let's just first see what this base layer is. If you've got six across and you've got six down, so what you have, you have 36. So this is your base layer of 36 cubes. And then what they finally give you is you have eight of these layers. So rather than trying to draw, which would just not look very good, Let's just write that 8 right there and say, you know what? We've got 8 layers of 36. And so we're either we skip count by 36s. I don't know about 36s. So let's just go ahead and multiply. 6 times 8 is 48. 8 times 3 is 24. Let's add that 4 back in. We've got 28. So we're looking at 288. There's two different ways to write it. We can write cubic feet since these are little cubes that are one foot each. Or you can write feet and a little three. That also means cubic feet. Either way, your answer is B.